This used to be the location of the first McDonald's in Russia. Three months ago, I thought I had my last cheeseburger here because uh, the multinational store closed its business in Russia uh, shortly after the country started its military operation in Ukraine. But look at here now, on June the 12th, the new fast food chain takes a place to Moscow with a new logo and a new name, which is called Gusnitochka in Russian. And it means delicious, and that's it. Look how many people are here. Many of them came here as early as 5 a.m. The new logo depicts a red circle and two orange lines that look like a burger and a pair of fries. Altogether, the three shapes resemble an abstract M. It is, uh, uh, it's so nice that the brand belongs to Russia and we are independent from others. It is an unusual name. Let's see how people like it. I like what I see now. It looks minimalistic. On March 14, McDonald's suspended the operation of all its 850 restaurants in Russia due to the military operation in Ukraine. Many customers protested at the time. On May 16, it announced that it would permanently withdraw from the Russian market, one of a string of Western companies to do so. The corporation then sold its business to its licensee, Alexander Gover. Change has been forced by circumstances, but our customers are still with us and the food remains good. Thank you all for coming. The chain timed its reopening to coincide with Russia Day, the country's annual celebration. The first 15 locations reopened in the Moscow area on Sunday, Another 200 will follow later this month. And as the new logo goes public, it seems the golden arches are consigned to the history books, here in Russia at least.